Live from New York City, it's The Cube at Big Data NYC 2014. Brought to you by headline sponsor, WAN Disco, with support from EMC, MarkLogic, and Teradata. Now, here is your host, Dave Vellante. Welcome back to Big Data NYC, everybody. Jeff Frick and I are really pleased to have Kumar Srikanti here. My friend, my longtime friend, Kumar, CEO of Blue Data. Thanks for coming on. Thank you, Dave. So, uh, congratulations. Thank you. Thank the, you. The, the, the won the Startup Award. We startup were very honored and humbled to have been the winner of the Startup Showcase at Strata. Um, we uh, could not have asked for a better introduction and launch of the company. I'm very happy. Yeah, that's so awesome. So how did that how did that all come down? You guys, you, you, uh, for those who don't know, the the startup showcase, the startups get up. They give it's kind of like speed dating. You don't really have much time to present, Correct. right? Yeah, I think they select um, ten, fi 12 finalists, uh, and we were one of the twelve finalists. And they give you an opportunity to talk, to make a presentation, and then there is a, about a panel of judges, and then the next morning they give you the uh, winners. And there were some really incredible companies there, and we were very honored to be, again, to be uh, uh, placed as a winner. And I think it's a testament of our teamwork and what we are solving as a problem. And I'm sure that's one of the th things that we Yeah, we're going to talk about that. Well, I mean, let's get into it. You know, at our event yesterday, uh, Jeff Kelly got up and talked about how difficult Hadoop is. Yes. You know, and you're making, <laughs> your goal is to make Hadoop easy. So yes. let's talk about the problem yes. and how you guys are solving. Uh, fundamentally, um, as you probably know, I was a VP of R&D at VMware and I was responsible for all of storage networking and uh, uh, clustering products. It hit me in back in 2012. I mean, big data, there's a lot of innovation. But let's be honest, it's incredibly hard, right? I heard today a story, <laughs> incredibly hard. Some, somebody told me that I have a 100 node cluster and I have 20 people managing <laughs> it, right? So the, so the mission that uh, Kumar and my co-founder Tom, we got on is we want to build what I would call VMware for big data. I know that everybody wants to be VMware of something, but at least it's, it conveys the message that, uh, so we are on to, uh, we want to build a platform that allows people to, you don't have to worry about, you just, it's like when you go to a haircut, you're not worried about what scissors is using, right? you want to have a haircut. So scissors <laughs> to me is like a virtualization. A lot of people ask me, are you virtualizing? Like, yeah, virtualization is there, but it's really, I want you to be able to do five mouse clicks and you get your cluster up and running. And we have demonstrated that. And in fact, I even have a, I wanted to calculate how many mouse clicks it takes to do a 100 node physical cluster. And I'm guessing it'll be some 50,000 mouse clicks, and I like to say 50,000 to five. <laughs> I'd like to do that benchmark, I just don't have time. Yes, I, do. <laughs> I could well, be, somebody I mean, asked me, are you sure 50,000? I said, okay, let's pick 20,000. Yeah, right? pick a number, <laughs> right. And how many mouse clicks with Blue Data? We five mouse clicks. Yeah. So you pick your name of the cluster, and you pick, you know, today we support Hadoop, Spark, and Hive. We plan to support other big data applications. Today we support Cloudera and Hardenworks, and we plan to support other distributions. And then you pick whether you want Eon or you want to do 1.0, then you pick number of slaves and number of ma master node, and you are done. I, I, I've seen the demo. Yes, thank you. And I, and I watched it and said, okay, this is, I could do this. <laughs> yes, <laughs> no, yes, thank I mean, you. Literally. Yes, yes. No, I mean it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, no, I'm I happy could, you said I could that. spin up a, a dupe cluster. <laughs> yes. I mean, I couldn't do much with it, but once <laughs> I could get it up and running for somebody who knew how to yes, do it. Yes. Right? I mean, really, it's that simple. Yes. Um, it, it, big, uh, big data does not mean it's, it has to be big hard. It has, doesn't have to be big moves. It doesn't have to be big costs. And that's, I think, is our goal. And you can actually get the utilization as high as 80 to 90 percent. So everybody is talking about speeds and feeds but nobody's talking about how hard it is to make this work. So our goal is to build that platform that allows the people to, in addition to that, I think Dave, you saw this in the demo, you don't have to move the data. You can leave the data where it is. Right. You all, if you have HDFS, you can use HDFS. If you have NFS, you have a cluster. You, we support all the platforms. Well, I think that's key, because you can't, can't move the data. Data Correct. mover is dead. Yes. Right, a high speed data mover is an oxymoron. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And so, I, I, you know, and it's funny, Kumar, because Nobody's, it's funny how few people have paid attention to this. Yes, exactly. And, and now that it's coming into production, Correct. it's yes. really becoming a problem. Yeah. And, and I think the reason is they would maybe spend a dollar on their enterprise data warehouse and they say, wow, I can offload that and do some new stuff and it only cost me 30 cents. Correct. Now, yeah, that's really complicated, but it's cool yes, and that's yes. fine. And then, 
After a while, when they start to scale, they go, wow, this doesn't scale so well. Yes. It's too complicated. I'm going to spend all this money here, and it's just going to be a one-time hit, and mm -hmm. it's going to be a nightmare. Yes. So your timing is, is very good. Is that, is that luck, or is that uh, talent, uh, a little bit of both? I think it's probably <laughs> both. I don't think I can, I, I can t totally say it's... I, I do have to admit that I wrote a blog on the day we launched. I was actually flying back in 2012. I think it's from San Fran New York to San Francisco on a late-night flight on a Friday. It hit me. The big data is here, and it is going to help all the enterprises, but it is incredibly hard. So how do I make it very easy? So my fundamental goal is how do you change the consumption model of the data? So you, as a data scientist, you can sit every desk. You should be able to pick a cluster, and you should be able to pick where the data is, and you should be able to go again and go. That's the really the goal of the Blue Data is. And I think we have demonstrated that. I think it's the beginning of 1.0 product, but we are very confident that we can, we can go next, next level to building this. Yeah, I mean, conceptually, you nailed it. You thank know, you. Now, now, of course, the execution. <laughs> yes, but you know something about execution. Yes, and, yes, thank you. you. Know, coming out of I VMware. started a vSAN project, <laughs> and <laughs> I was able to get it up running, and so thank you. Yeah, that's it. You know, I want to step back and ask you, as a technologist, to get your opinion on something. We're s we've seen the, the storage scale out, the compute is scaling out. The networking <laughs> is still very structured and higher. And I know VMware is trying, with NSX, is trying to change that. But is the network really going to flatten? Is it going to scale out? Is it inevitable? And what do you project um, there? So actually, I, refer to, I referred to this a couple of times. There is a paper by Microsoft and University of Austin, if I remember correctly, Microsoft Research. It's called Flat Data Center Network. Mm -hmm. I think one of the key findings of that, it's a couple of years old paper, uh, is that the network is not the bottleneck in a, in a data distributed workload environment. I do think the network is still um, is a little bit ways away from it, but I think all the indications point to me that it is getting better and better and better. So trying to load all the data and moving the compute closer to the data is not necessarily a panacea. So there are certain workloads you actually don't need to do that, mm -hmm. and then you can get your results done. That's so the thing. That begs the question though, where is the bottleneck going to be? Because yeah. those are the big three, right? compute, store, and, and, uh, and network. Correct, so disk, the disk bandwidth of probably about six gigabits bandwidth, and then whereas network bandwidth has quadrupled in the last four years from the, now you're talking about 40 gigabit networks, right? So you now have a very interesting um, dynamics that is coming. It's not just the networking, um, um, it's, it's, an, it's the software of the networking too, which is the word I think you pointed out, yeah, right. the SDN part of it. One of the invention, inventions in Blue Data is we actually try to minimize the thrashing of the virtual network when you run the big data workloads. So we are making sure that the, the, the virtual networking path is optimized as much as possible so that you can get the best of the, the compute workloads. I see. Uh, now, are there announcements at the show? Or yes, or? we have announced a GA product of the Epic Enterprise. So our product is called Epic. Mm -hmm. Um, so we have announced Epic Community Edition, which is a single node edition for anybody DevOps can download. It's a full function, single physical server, and Blue Data is not in the path. Anybody can download it and run it, and they, there's a community website. They can post and we respond and that. We have announced the GA product, which is called Epic Enterprise, and we will be shipping that next month and we have announced five nodes enterprise license free for anybody. It is fully supported by Blue Data and in, in perpetuity. You so can use five it. node enterprise license? It's free. For free? Free. Okay, so you've got a, a, a community, community edition. Yes, single node, anybody One can node. download, and it actually, on a 24 core system, you can actually run a pretty decent workload. Yeah, sure. But the idea there is really to give the Blue Data functionality, the point you just made a few minutes ago, yeah, I yeah, could yeah, do yeah. this, right? So that's the goal of Community Edition. It's to give the people opportunity. Enterprise Edition is you're serious, you're ready to go, okay. but you want to just be up and we will support it. It's, it's a full, think of it as a zero dollar PO. Yeah, but it's a license. It's right, a zero dollar PO, right? Yes, so yes. There's, a, there's a, some kind of commitment there, yes, right? Yes, yeah, that's, that's it. It's a zero dollar PO. We are yeah. so confident on the platform that we think that once you use the platform that you'll you'll you will realize the you'll realize the advantage of the platform. For example, you can run Cloudera 4.4, 4.6, 5.0, .4, all simultaneously on the same hardware. You can run Hortonworks, you can run Spark, you can run Spark native, you can run Spark inside the yarn. Um, you can run the Spark we are certified with Spark with the Databricks. We're certified with Hortonworks. 
that are working with the cloud around this cloud era certification. One of the other challenges you hear, you hear when you talk to practitioners is when they do a, you know, the point releases of a, of a distro, no big deal, but when they do a major release, that's a lot of times it's, they have to incur some downtime, you know, some serious yes, downtime. Yes. It can be days sometimes. Yes, yes. Maybe most of the applications will run, but there's always problems. Yes, exactly. Um, so you're seeing the same problem. And, and, how is the industry addressing that generally, and are you doing anything? Yeah, so else? I think there are, uh, with us, this is actually reminds me of the VMware back in 2000 when Windows came out, new, new revisions. Yeah. You first spun up the new VM, right. and you ran your application on it. With the Blue Data, you can exactly do that. You can keep running your 4.6, and then you can run your new application on 5.0, and you can spin up as many clusters as you want with the new versions without without having to disrupt your existing ones. And your data stays? Data stays consistent. same. You yeah. can actually, multiple computer clusters can access the data. Remember our computer clusters are stateless, and the data remains. When the, when the computer clusters goes away, data still stays there. That is not true with any Hadoop service. Hadoop as a service, the data goes away with it. So our data is, because we virtualize the data, your data stays wherever you want your data to be. Mm -hmm. So the, what the industry is addressing today is either you spin up a new cluster, or there's a rolling upgrades, or you downtime, as you find out. There's no other alternate. So the, the solution that we are putting in place is the first of its kind in the big data space, but it is nothing new in, when you actually follow the footsteps of the VMware. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and rolling upgrades are dangerous. Yes. You know, they really are. Yes. I've seen some disasters, literal disasters yes. occur in rolling upgrades. I want and, to come back. And I also heard that, the, and I'm not an expert on this, but I've heard that the version to version compatibility is also a big problem from they go from 4.6 to 5.0 or 1.2 to 2.0. So this, I think we, we help customers solve that problem because they can spin up their 2.0 cluster, they can run, and they can come back and then they say, okay, now it's all running and I can switch Nice, bringing a lot of that facility of yes. VMware to the <laughs> big data world. I want to come back to licensing. So you've got the enterprise uh, edition, free, yes. No, yes. you don't even have to talk to yeah. new data, and then there's the zero dollar PO, yes. I love that concept. Yeah. <laughs> Like every startup has to go through, okay, how do we price this stuff? So yes. How are you pricing when you actually start yeah, to Today, it? we are pricing uh, per core mm -hmm. uh, license, and we have not announced the actual dollar cost. That we will be announcing it in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, okay, yeah. but per core. Yeah, sense. it's but a per core license. So the, well, we actually went back and forth between the act, in, uh, pricing it per server, per core. I think if you, if you price per server, you're penalizing the, the, the people who are having a low core so, so that, and then if you're, you're taking advantage of, so we are seeing between 24 to 16 cores. Mm -hmm. So I think the, it's probably uniform per core licensing price. And and will you do uh, perpetual licensing? Or yes. Or no, no, I'm sorry. It's, it's a three-year licensing model. It's three-year. Three-year license. So term licensing. Yes. And so you won't do perpetual license. No. Is that right? No. I don't, is there anybody in software, enterprise software, doing a perpetual licensing? <laughs> a map R. <laughs> Oh, oh, really? They are, because yeah. some customers want to do perpetual license, I believe see. it or not. Um, we are I mean, but, but many won't. <laughs> Cloudera won't do it, yeah, in my, my sources, yeah, anyway. We, yeah, at, at and Hortworks, of course, doesn't do any licensing. Yes. They just a subscription, subscription to the back end. Model, yeah. <laughs> we think that the value, as we were thinking about this, obviously we are in a very early stage of the conversations. Um, I'm sure we will listen to the customers, as they say, but I think it's the right model, given that you come back and you add the value to the software and you give them more, more additional. Well, that's what the VCs want, right? <laughs> <laughs> they a lot of pressure to do that, but it, it's a good model. Yes. Business, business yes. model yes. is fantastic, yes. but yeah, the enterprise is funny. Like yes. Every customer is different, it yes. seems, you know, yes. as you. No, it's true that know. I actually have not followed the map, or, but I think I, I didn't know that, but. Yeah, I mean, it's, I think it's an outlier, but yeah. uh, there are some, still some customers that want to do that. Yeah. You know, I want to just own it and you go yes. away. Perpetual, fully yes. paid up worldwide. Yes. The yes. lawyers love that stuff, yes. some lawyers, yes. you know. But, uh, well, that's great, Kumar. Well, congratulations Thank on all you. the success. A anything else you want to, last words that you want to share with uh, us? I, no, I, I'm, we're, as, again, I think I'm, I'll be repeating, but it'll be worth repeating. I think we are very excited. I think we are bringing a very innovative platform. We want to make big data not big hard and make it big easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to New Orleans next year. <laughs> well, yeah, we were just there. But, uh, you know, I just love it. You're, you're, you've always been a problem solver. Yeah, you know, thank you. And yes. you're very thoughtful, and you've got a great team. Thank I'm really you. excited for no, you guys. Thank so you. Congratulations thank on all the success, and good luck. Thank you. All right, keep thank it right you. there, everybody. Jeff and I will be right back right thank after this word. This is theCUBE.